Ayana Dagbashan and you're watching the news broadcast on the state television company of Western Armenia. Today's broadcast, a seminar in the Yerevan office of Western Armenia. The human rights defenders of Artsakh and Armenia have published a special report on the Azerbaijani attacks on journalists. The Erinja Davnia Havet Road of Javad will be restored. Khalif Haftar called for preparation for war against Turkey. A new Stone Age monument was found in Aknashen, a pike weighing 13 kilograms in Kesarya, Western Armenia. The literary and scientific heritage of Pavon Dalishan was digitized on his 200th anniversary. A seminar was held on December 24 in the Yerevan office of Western Armenia. The seminar was dedicated to Hagop Melkumov, an Armenian soldier who beheaded one of the organizers of the genocide against Armenians, Enver Pasha, in March 1922. The Prime Minister Seda Melikan, members of the Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia, and other guests took part in the seminar. A film about Hagop Melkumov was shown. A discussion took place on the path of Hakob Melkumov and Ver Pasha's beheading by him and different interpretations of the given event. More details about the seminar will be presented in our upcoming programs. The human rights defenders of Artsakh and Armenia have published a special report on the Azerbaijani attacks on journalists covering the hostilities in Artsakh. Besides targeting the civilian population and infrastructure of Artsakh by Azerbaijan, journalists and their vehicles were also targeted intentionally, as a result of which seven journalists were seriously injured and the person accompanying a group of journalists was killed. The fact that the journalists wore special uniforms and badges testifies to the intentional targeting. In addition, some evidence speaks about Azeri unmanned aerial vehicles flying in the area before and during the strikes, which meant that the journalists were fully visible and distinguishable to the Azerbaijani armed forces. The road connecting the villages of Erinja, Davnia, Havet will be restored in 2021. An online competition for the preparation of design estimates has been announced. Around 5,500 meters of the Erinja, Davnia, Havet road will be restored. On December 22, Akhil Kalaki municipality announced a tender for 49,500 laris to prepare a preliminary estimate for the reconstruction program. Applications are open until January 18, 2021. The commander of the National Army of Libya, Khalif Haftar, called on the military for preparing actions against Turkish forces, AP reports. Khalif Haftar commented on the Turkish parliament's decision of extending the presence of Turkish troops in Libya for 18 months. Turkish military helped to stop Haftar's attack on Tripoli in assistance with the Tripoli government and including advisors, equipment and intelligence assessment. Turkey is also accused of sending thousands of mercenaries from Syria to Libya. Haftar mentioned referring to Turkey. There will be no security or peace as long as the Turkish military spoils our pure land. We will fight to make peace with our own hands and our free will. The enemy has two options, either to live peacefully or to be deported by force. The Armenian French expedition, which has been conducting excavations in Aknashen for almost 15 years, has discovered a new Stone Age monument. As reported by Armen Press, director of the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography Pavel Avetisian mentioned that the results of the work done are very impressive and they can be used to interpret and present the process of the Neolithic Revolution both in the Armenian highlands and in the whole region. The works in the Aknashen Neolithic and Neolithic settlement of the Armavi region of the Republic of Armenia started in 2004. It is the most studied monument in the Caucasus, located at the bottom of the Kazakh River. The excavations are carried out within the framework of Armenian-French cooperation and there are several publications on complex studies. A fisherman Fatih Beik caught a 60 cm long pike weighing 13 kg with a fishing net in Agajashar in the province of Yahyal, Kesarya, Western Armenia. It should be noted that Western Armenia is considered to be the water supplier of the Middle East, where fishing in the rivers is very common. The number of fish in rivers and dams built on them has recently increased, but fish of this size are rare. On the occasion of the 200th anniversary of the poet, philologist, historian, geographer, translator, and member of the Mkhitaryans in Venice, Revon Dalishan, the whole scientific, literary, and historian heritage of the author has been digitized. The Minister of Education, Science, Culture, and Sports of the Republic of Armenia, Vahan Dumamian, mentioned during the presentation of the program, we must use it everywhere in order to be present and available in any field, to spread and to research without any difficulties. We are all aware of the potential of digitization, but we must do everything quickly and on time. 
the scientific director of the Digital Library of Armenian Bibliography Foundation at the American University of Armenia, Meruzhan Karapetyan, added that the digitization took two months. He mentioned that more than 10 tomes of Alishan had been digitized before. This time we had planned to digitize 22 works, but we did more. Historical geographical works, works of artistic nature and historical researches have been digitized. We try to include all the genres that Alishan was interested in. We refer to the religious and propagating literature he was engaged in, Garapetian said. To get acquainted with the rich heritage left by Alishan, you can visit the website digilib.aua.am. Now we present you a song Jagori Yerk by Vostan Folk Ensemble. The full version of the song is available in the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.